PS art students, this is Ms. Patino Wright from Lucille Brown Middle School. I am here to demonstrate a recycled art sculpture project using toilet paper rolls. So I'm going to show you some examples and then I'm going to demonstrate making one. So this is one that I made um, that has not been decorated, but I'll show you in the video that you can use lots of different things to decorate or to add interest and creativity to your mask or face sculpture. Here's another example of the one I'm going to show you. And there's another one here. So have fun with it and I can't wait to see what you come up with and I'm sure your art teachers would love to see what you come up with too. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so I, I'm going to demonstrate making one of these masks or faces. Um, here's one that I did, um, it's one of my favorites that I haven't designed yet with color or anything like that. And this one I got uh, wet in the water a little bit before I did it, but um, I feel like I prefer it dry because I can um, be a little more forceful with it. Sometimes when you wet the cardboard, it tends to tear. So what I might try this time is just to use a little water here and there just to loosen some parts up because when it dries, it actually stays a lot better than if you do it dry to begin with. So just experiment a little bit um, with that. Um, so I have my cardboard. Um, toilet paper roll. I'm going to kind of make a brown, stick my fingers in there, just kind of bend it, you know. Sometimes you have to do more than one until you get it the way that you want it. So, you know, if it doesn't work out the first time, it's no big deal, but it is kind of fun to make this like sort of fidgety sculpture mask and make it your own. So I have kind of an eyebrow situation here and kind of a funky hair or head. Um, you can use a spoon, you can use any kind of tools that you have at home that you think would make it easier. Um, like I said, experiment. So I'm just going to use the spoon to kind of make these creases here so that there's a, an eye, a form of an eye. See, I have this like sort of shape here, if you can see it right here, that's sort of the shape of an eye. And then I got to do one on this side now too. I'm just going to use my spoon to kind of push it out. Make a little crease here. You know, this is dry, so it's a little bit harder to tear or break. So don't, you know, don't be scared to push it around. Okay, that's kind of an eye shape. But when, you, when you're finished, you can always go over it with marker or pen. Now I'm going to kind of move on to the nose. Oh, there's the front there. Um, so the nose, you can start with like the bridge of the nose, which is just like the, the front part of your nose here. Um, and then you can either sort of square it off like I did for this one, or you can kind of make it more triangular for the whole thing. It's totally up to you. Like I said, you know, experiment and try different things. So I have this sort of like thin kind of nose that I'm making just because I haven't done one like that yet. And you can even sort of fold it over like that to really make it have that tight crease. And sometimes you might have to go back, you know, and re and fix the eyes a little bit or the mouth or whatever as you go. So it's not it's gonna make kind of the end of the nose. I'm gonna fold it again to kind of make sure it's needs that shape. If you can see this. Try it. Kind of this weird crooked nose here. No worries. But kind of the longer you fiddle with it, the you know the easier it gets the next time you try it. So you know if you mess up the first time, it's no big deal. So I have this this nose shape here, and I've kind of this eye shape here. This eye shape is a little harder to see, so I might work on that a little bit more. That tight eyebrow. Let me crunch this top down a little bit. Just having that real that tight eyebrow really helps give the effect of you know, the crinkles at the top of the face. Kind of makes them look mean. Okay, so that's the front. It's got the nose, it's got the eye. Um, it's a little bit harder to see, but I'm gonna work on the mouth because I can always come back and like, kind of fiddle with the details as I go. Okay, 
So for the mouth, um, I'm gonna kind of press the cheeks in a little bit. So just kind of like cheekbone situation. Um, I'm just gonna kind of fold this up like that, the bottom. And you can go back and like add another layer by like folding another little part up. Sorry, I'm trying to do this so you can see. All right, so I have this whole thing here. And I was thinking that I wanted to kind of give them like a scowl, like. So I might like fold this in a little bit. I said, don't worry, like if you don't like it, then you can always change it, you know? It's no big deal. You know how critical ah, you all can be on yourself. So just, you know, really just have fun with it. So I know this kind of looks kind of crazy. At least in the video, it looks kind of crazy. It looks a little better when they're sitting right in front of it. But, all right, so I have the mouth here, the nose, So, so, like I said, just play around with the uh, cardboard. Sometimes you can do something and it ends up looking pretty cool. Alright, so I have this. I'm going to like open the mouth a little bit more. Like I said I wanted him to kind of the nose and um all right so i have this little mask guy and now i'm going to decorate him and try to bring um, the best out in him so here we go Here is the finished product. Um, I could definitely spend more time um, making more designs and stuff like that, but I just wanted to give you guys an idea of some different things that you can do sculpture-wise with things that you already have at home. So have fun. I can't wait to see what you create. Um, please send me a picture of your final creation. You can upload it to Google Classroom, and if you have any questions, uh, reach out to me through email. Bye.